name is Ginger. I'm a librarian at the Ladysmith Library and I'm really happy to bring you a, another video for our Verl Recommend series. Today I have some of my um, favorite new picture books written and illustrated by Canadians. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll just jump right into the book. So um, this is the first book I wanted to share with you today. It's called Time as a Flower. And it was written by jo Julie Morstead. Um, this book was um, published in um, 2021. And it's a playful, playful exploration of the idea of time. Um, it's good for older kids, maybe four to seven year olds. Um, and I just want to show you some of the book. The illustrations are so beautiful. So here we go. First page. Time is the tick, tick tock of the clock and numbers and words on the calendar. But what else is time? And she goes on to explore this idea of time in lots of different ways. This is one of my favorite ones right here. Um, and time is your hair growing long, long, longer. Then quick, that time disappears in a snip. It's a series of metaphors to help um, people understand the nature of time. Uh, great colorful illustrations, highly recommended uh, by Julie Morstead. She lives in Vancouver. Great author and artist. The next book I'd like to recommend is called We All Play, Kim, Kime Ta Wa Now. You can see I stumbled on that word. It's a hard one for me. It's a Cree word and I'm just learning it. Um, this book was written and illustrated by Julie Flett, um, also published in 2021. This is a great book for younger kids, um, probably around the ages of two to six, um, and anyone who loves beautiful drawings. Um, I love this book. Um, the language is concise and action-based, um, and the illustrations are simple and playful. Um, it's a celebration of physical play. Um, and the connection between children and the natural world. And I want to show you a page because it's so beautiful. Animals hide and hop. And sniff and seek. And peek and peep. We play too. Kim me ta wa now mina. We play too. Um, the back of the book also includes a uh, glossary of animal names in English and in Cree. Um, and um, there's a pronunciation guide and a link so you can um, go on the internet and listen to the Cree words um, pronounced. And I did that. It's, I'm still stumbling over my words, but I think. Um, the sounds, but I think that um, it's the um, effort that is appreciated and, and in doing this we can help keep um, Indigenous languages alive and used. Um, and um, there's also a really thoughtful note by the author Julie Fleet um, at the end of the book about um, human play and the connected, connectedness of um, people, animals, and nature. Highly recommend all of Julie Fleet's work, but this is her most recent. So the next book I have to share with you today is called It Fell From the Sky and it's by the Fan Brothers. Um, this is a whimsical picture book about community, art, um, and um, the importance of giving back. Um, a mysterious object falls from the sky um, and it's investigated by a cast of garden insects. You can see them down here. Um, and the idea that this item, it, it can, it really confuses the garden critters. Um, and they each have fun taking guesses at what, at what it is. Um, and it places children as they're reading this book or having this book read to them, it places them in this great, um, position of knowing more about the object than the characters in the book. I always love those types of books. Um, and it's good for a wide range of ages of, for kids. Um, Everything from like a three-year-old to maybe an eight-year-old, um, I think, could enjoy this book. And the illustrations are incredible. Um, 
they're really meticulously drawn and um, there's lots of attention to light and texture. Um, it's a great book. It fell from the sky by the Fan Brothers. The next book I'd like to share with you is called I Love You More. Um, and it was written by Emile Shear and illustrated by Barbara Reed. And it follows a boy as he walks through his neighborhood. He sees lots of different people um, of different ages, genders, and races. And each scene that he sees shows a moment of love, or many moments of love. Um, uh, and um, let me just show you a page here. I especially like this, this page here. And it says, I love you more than a piano loves hands. This book is based on a game that the author Emile Scheer uh, made up to play with his daughters when they were young. Um, he still plays with them now that they're older. Um, it's a word game um, and it plays around with the idea of, of there being infinite ways to see and express love. Um, and it's a idea of um, pairs of things loving each other. Um, and it sort of has a certain order. The second part of the pair makes the first part feel happy because it feels needed. So here's another example. I love you more than erasers love mistakes. The next book I'd like to share today is called The Big Bath House, um, and it was written by um, Keo McClare and Grace Sang uh, in 2021. It's based on Keo McClare's um, loving memories of childhood visits to Japan and to neighborhood bathhouses. Um, it's great for kids uh, aged maybe around four years old to nine years old and um, I have to share a page with you because I love it so much. This page, you'll see lots of naked bodies on this page um, and my favorite passage from this page um, is you'll all dip your bodies, you're newly sprouting, gangly bodies, your saggy, shapely, jiggly bodies, your cozy, creased, ancient bodies, beautiful bodies. Um, and that's part of my favorite thing in this book is, is that um, there's a very pos body positive um, descriptions here. People all ages and sizes and shapes are accepted in the bathhouse. Um, and um, the naked bodies will certainly have kids giggling too, which is always fun. The last book that I'd like to share with you today is um, called Out in the Big Wide Lake. And it was written by um, Paul Harbridge and Jose Basilion. Um, it's published in 2021. And this is an empowering book about a young girl with Down syndrome. Here she is, her name's Kate. Um, and she is based on Paul Harbridge's sister, who also has Down syndrome. Um, and um, this story is about a summer that she spends visiting her grandparents. Um, and while she's visiting her grandparents, um, she helps her grandfather deliver groceries to different cottages on the lake in his boat which is pretty fantastic. She even learns how to drive the boat by herself. Um, one day, her grandfather is suddenly ill and it's up to Kate, but can she make all of those food deliveries on her own? People are counting on her. They're counting on getting their food. Well, she's gonna try. Um, that Kate is lovable and brave and um, she'll capture your heart. It's a, it's a really moving story. Um, about facing fears and gaining independence. Uh, these are just a few of the many wonderful picture books that are published in Canada every year um, and I hope that I've encouraged you to check some of these books out um, or uh, come into our library and explore our picture book section. We get new wonderful books every day. Happy reading! Bye!